All right, guys, let's check out a rather interesting Seiko. This is a Seiko SNA A05. So a big thanks to my buddy Jeff McMahon. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. And you can, um, you know, check out. He's got a video on it, too. So uh, let's just get into it. Let's cover the size of it and the movement and stuff like that. Now, this is an alarm watch, but I'm still trying to figure out how to set the darn alarm. It's not... It doesn't seem very intuitive to me. So it's the 7T62 movement. I know I've played with this movement before and I must have figured it out then, but like I, I've lost it. So I don't remember exactly how. So if I can figure it out, I'll tag it on towards the end of the video and show you how to set it real quick and sound off the alarm. Hopefully I can figure that out. But the watch, I, listen guys, I measured from here, from this asymmetric design over to here and it's 41 millimeter. So it looks kind of big, but it's really only a 41 millimeter. It's just a really unique shape with it being like a triangle. The, the lug to lug, now I measured basically from here to here before it comes all the way down, but from here to here, like which is basically the watch case, and that's 53 millimeter, millimeter but you can see it has a crazy arc to it. So it's very fluid in its uh, overall shape design. 13 and a half millimeter thick, and you can see it has a really crazy shaped hard lex crystal up top there that's going to be definitely unique to just a few models really there's some other sna models but those are going to be the only ones that have this hard lex crystal and then lug width it's again it's very like individual for this watch but up here it's about 20 millimeter uh, you know like right in here and then it carries that 20 millimeter on the bracelet which is the only way you're going to wear this you're not going to put a different strap on there so you have a fully stamped clasp you only have two micro adjust double pushers the dark parts of the watch are actually anodized into the stainless steel. And you can see there's some dings and scratches on this, but the color is stayed true. So what, however they did the coating process on this, it is uh, very resilient for sure. This is called the Streamline Collection, and this is an alarm chronograph. As far as I can tell, the prices that I found off from websites that had them Back in the day, they're around the $250 range, but it's it's been long sold out everywhere I've looked. And it's hard to even figure out what the used market is on this thing. Um, I would suspect 150 range right in there for a good working example, which when Jeff sent me this, the battery was dead. I pulled the case back off, I threw a battery in it, and it's been running great. So simple battery change, you know, every two to five years, however long it lasts, depending on how much you use the chronograph and you'll be good to go you can just you know keep this thing running so if we zoom in on this guy you'll see you have a again a very interesting design but the movement i mean really it can be put into different packages this is just has this unique package but it has really nice polished indices nice polished handset with the loom on there and you have your sub dials so you have your chronograph which i'll get going and then you have your 60 minute counter up top your lower subdial is a second time zone. Like you can set it and it'll actually keep a second second time, even though it says alarm on there. I think you can use it to set the alarm, but I haven't figured it out. You have a running seconds over there at the nine. And then of course you have your date at the three o'clock. And it's, if you catch it, the light just right, let me see if I can get it. But if you look on the dial, see that like pinstriping off that track around the outside, they carry like this little pinstriping line going towards the center of the dial. I just, you know, pick that up before I started the video, and it's a very interesting feature. It only catches it in certain light, so that's actually kind of fun. It is a push pull crown, 100 meter water resist. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's not sized for my wrist, and I will say I don't think you can wear this particular model with any smaller wrist than I have, just because of the the way the watch is built like it's going to overhang your wrist. So you're definitely going to want a seven and a quarter inch wrist or larger to wear this watch. So, and I'll put a link down below of a couple of videos that I found for setting the alarm. I still couldn't figure it out, guys. Hopefully kill the lights and check out the loom. And then, like I said, I'll see if I can figure out how to set that alarm. I was just playing with it and it doesn't seem extremely intuitive. So here's the loom on it. It's an older watch. It still has loom though on the hour minute. And then of course, some of those indices on the outside perimeter. All right, guys, thanks for watching.